So let's start creating our login page and form. So this is going to be quite similar to what we did for registration. But before that, let's go to our web.php where our routes are sitting. So at the moment, we have just the home page and our registration routes. But as we build our application, this can get quite messy, especially our authentication routes. So what we can do is to create a separate document just for authentication routes. And I'm going to call it auth.php. So in this document, let's open our PHP tag and cut the register routes from web.php and paste it here. Of course, we need to import our route facade. So make sure you do that. Also our register controller. And also we want to apply the guest middleware to all of this. And for that, we can just group them so we don't have to repeat ourselves. Let's use the route facade again. Then we can use the middleware function, which will look for a middleware. In this case, we want to apply the guest and then we want to group them using the group function. So this is looking for a closure. We can pass a function here and let's end this statement and then move this curly brackets parentheses down at the very bottom. And now all the routes within this group will be protected by the guest middleware. And I am also going to add some comments as we go along. So we will have register and login. And now we just have to import this document in our web.php. And we can say require double underscore there, which refers to the directory of this file. And then we want to concatenate our auth.php. So back to our website, everything is okay, but we can't go to register now because we are logged in and this is protected by the guest middleware. But what we can do, we can go to application tab and then the cookies down here and just delete this Laravel session. So if we do that and reload our website, now we can go to register. All right, so let's create our login controller and routes. First, I'm gonna create a controller for it. So back to terminal, we can repeat our previous command and just change the register to authenticate controller because I want to have login and logout in the same controller. Let's press enter. Now in our auth.php, we can have our routes. So we will have a get route that would go to forward slash login. Then we want to import our authenticate controller. And the method again is gonna be create. So the one that will show the form, we will call it create. Let's give it a name as well, login. We would also have a method to handle that logging in that is going to be a post request. And the method is gonna be called store. And I'm going to delete the name because we don't need it. All right, so now let's go to authenticate controller. And we just want to create those two functions. So let's say public function create. And for now, I'm just gonna add comment here and then copy this, paste it down here and we want to have our store method. So for the store method, we want to accept the request since we are going to work with it. Now our create method is going to return a login view. So let's create that. Inside our resources, JS, pages, and auth, we want to create our login.view. Then let's create our script and also our template. And for now, let's just say login and leave it at that. Now let's go back to authenticate controller and we want to return inertia render then auth forward slash login. All right, so now if we go to forward slash login, of course we see the text, we just have to create the form and let's add a link for it as well. It's going to be quite easy. Let's open our main.view and we already have register down here. We just want to copy paste this one and change the route name to login component name to auth forward slash login and the text that should say login. There we go, we have it and it's already selected because we are on this page. I think we can also move this, it should be login and then register. I think that is the correct order. All right, so now we have a login view. Let's open our register view. You remember we added this link that's supposed to go to the login page. We set it to home at that time, but now we have a login page. So let's just add login here. And also I'm gonna copy everything from this component and paste it inside our login component and then apply some changes. We don't need to worry about imports. We need a form, but we don't need name or password confirmation. 
but I want to add a remember property and we will set it to null. And so we want to add the remember me feature to it. And that's why I'm adding it here. Now for the submit function, it's going to be quite similar. We want to submit this through a post request to the login page. So not register. And when the form is submitted or finished, basically, if there is an error or not, we want to reset our password. We don't have password confirmation, so we can delete that. Now going down to our template, we have a container. And I also remembered each page should have a head. So at the moment, we are just using our default my app, but we can simply add the head tag in our components and set the title to whatever we want. So for example, I want to say dash login for the login page. So now we have it up here. We should repeat this on the register. So I'm going to copy this very quickly, taking a detour and just paste it here and just say register and we can close it. All right, let's continue. So we have our head tag. We have a container for the title. I want to say login to your account and for that text underneath, I want to say need an account question mark, then we will go to the register page. So we can say register and we need our error messages. So we don't need to change anything here. We need our form. Of course, we don't need this input field for name. So let's delete that. We need an email. We need a password, but we don't need password confirmation or this text. So let's delete that. Now for the text of the button, I want to say login. So let's add a section here under password for remember me at the moment. If we take a look at our form, it looks quite simple and nice. We just want to add a new section. So let's have a div under password and I'm going to apply some classes. First, we have flex items center and justify between. So first I want to have a text link. So let's do this. So we need a route name for our text link. And this will be a link that would go to forget password. So if users forget their password, we want to give them the ability to reset their password. And for now, again, I just want to go to the homepage because we don't actually have a link for the text. So we can have a label and say forgot password question mark. All right, so this is the link that would go to forgot password page. And later on, we will apply that. Now I want to have a checkbox here and that would be for the remember me section. And again, I want to create a component for it instead of hard coding it in this component. So inside the components folder, I will have a checkbox dot view. Now again, like the input field, this is going to be a lot of CSS classes, so I don't want to type it. So I'm just pasting some code here. So let me explain what's going on. We have our model just like the input field because we want to get the value of that checkbox using V model. So we are just setting that to define model macro from view. We also have one prop that is the name of our checkbox. Now in terms of the markup, we have a wrapper, an input field of type checkbox and the V model, which is bind to this model up here. Then we are binding the ID to the name prop, which is used for the four attribute of the label. So when we click on the label, we would be able to check or uncheck the checkbox and just some classes here. So we have rounded corners, border, removing the outline and some colors. And for the label, that is just a text and we are setting the cursor to pointer. So it is clear that is a button. And of course we have the slot for the actual text. So that's why I'm calling this prop name because that is the name for the label and the input. So let's save this one, go back to the login component and import our checkbox. So let's say checkbox and right above this text link for the forgot password, I can use that checkbox, close it like this. And for the text, I just want to say, remember me. And we need to pass two things here as the prop or attributes. One is the name. We want to set that to remember and V model. So that is coming from our form and the remember property. So we've already created this up here and we are using it for our checkbox. All right, back to our website. This is the checkbox we have here. And by the way, I want to mention the reason that we are able to customize this checkbox or these form input fields in a better way is because of that form plugin of Tailwind we installed in the first videos. So if you don't install that plugin, these styles might look 
a bit weird but anyway we have the, our nice checkbox here we have the forgot password which actually goes to the home page if we go to register we can directly go to login and same way we can go to register from the login page all right so all is left here is to actually submit the form we are done with our component and we just need to handle the request using our store method in authenticate controller so we will do this in the next video